Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? We got breaking news. The mayor of Milwaukee is giving a press conference as I am recording this right now. Uh, and he's he has just officially said the National Guard will be activated, but not deployed unless things get out of control tonight. The Milwaukee man whose shooting by police touched off riots last night and prompted Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker to activate the National Guard uh, today, had previously been charged in a shooting and with intimidation of a witness of that shooting. Also, uh, uh, Slyville Smith, 23, Slyville Smith, age 23, was charged with first, first degree recklessly endangering safety and with witness intimidation stemming from a February 2015 incident. But the charges were dismissed according to the court records viewed by the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. The uh, circumstances surrounding uh, the 2015 shooting and the reason why the charges were ultimately dropped were both unclear. Prosecutors said they had recorded Smith asking his girlfriend to pressure a witness to recant. Now, Milwaukee police said Smith was armed when he was shot 3.30 yesterday afternoon in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Smith allegedly fled a traffic stop and refused to put down his weapon when he was ordered to. That's when the police officer fired and struck him twice. Walker activated the National Guard on Sunday afternoon, hours after a gas station was set on fire and other businesses were torched by demonstrators protesting and rioting over Smith's death. Walker said he took the step after receiving a request from Milwaukee, Governor, or Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark and talking with Mayor Tom uh, Barrett and the uh, National Guard's lead, who's the National Guard's leader. The Guard will be in position to help upon request, according to Walker's announcement. Walker also praised the citizens who showed up today to clean up the north side neighborhood where the violence took place. Also, city leaders pleaded for calm after the violence erupted, with Barrett employing parents of anyone at the scene to get them home right now after at least four businesses had been torched and one officer was hurt. At least three people were arrested last night. You know, it's a miracle only three people arrested. They, I mean, they completely just about destroyed that neighborhood, okay, literally. It is a miracle they only arrested three people. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, this, this was fueled by social media messages instructing people to congregate in certain areas. Barrett and Smith was stopped by police for suspicious activity. Police said earlier that Smith was carrying a gun that had been stolen in March in a burglary in suburban uh, Waukesha. Now, Smith's shooting is being investigated by the state of Wisconsin. The officer who fired the fatal shots was wearing a body camera. Hang on a second. We got an ad popping up here on me for no reason. He was wearing a body camera. And uh, and, they, and that video is being reviewed. This stop took place because two officers saw suspicious activity. There was 23 rounds in that gun that the officer was staring at. And I want to make sure that uh, people don't lose focus of that is what's being said here in this article. Obviously, the racial tensions are involved in this. And... Uh, Boy, let's just pray cooler heads prevail. We don't need, you know, we don't need to burn Milwaukee down, okay? We don't need to burn Milwaukee down. But you do know that earlier this week, I did a video and, and uh, hosted Heidi's show for her on Rachel's Heart, in which she called in. Chicago had 99 people shot, 24 fatally, none by police. That was people killing people. This is going on. Unbelievable. Chicago, Detroit, Milwaukee, 
This area is absolutely a war zone. Indianapolis, Indiana, Gary, Indiana. It's just a war zone, okay? Uh, especially Chicago. And that's spilling over in Milwaukee, definitely. So, um, wow, we need to pray, folks. We really need to pray. It's it, The devil's loose. There's a devil loose. And uh, we really need to pray for uh, Milwaukee tonight. Pray for the family of this young man that was shot and killed. Pray for uh, the police officer who was involved in the shooting. Pray for uh, the, the neighborhood. Pray for the people who own these businesses who have just torched to the ground. You know, if they didn't have insurance, they're they're broke. Even if they do, they're out of business. Okay, so there's some devastation here, and uh, we really need cooler heads prevail. Let's pray tonight. Everybody goes home, and let's let's calm down. And let's review the tape, and let's see what happened that uh, that with this situation. So anyway, we're in prayer. Don't miss tonight's Sunday night live broadcast. We're gonna be talking about this is the ninth of Av. This is also, it was a secret encrypted code, looks like, was in the Georgia Guidestones about today. And what does that all mean? Um, is, that, is that reflection on some kind of plot toward Israel or Jewish people? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. But uh, BP Earthwatch will be our guest. We're going to break down the Georgia Guidestones for you tonight. We're going to break it down. Also, the flooding in Mississippi, Louisiana, and parts of East Texas, and a little bit in Alabama, but Louisiana, it is, folks, it is, a, it's flooding of biblical proportion, and BP Earthwatch is down there right now, so he's down there in, along the Gulf there in Mississippi. We're going to get a full report from him on that, uh, uh, and, and just a whole lot more, so you, you just don't miss this broadcast. Tonight starts at 7 p.m. Eastern, at 7 p.m. Eastern at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Uh, we will be showing you uh, all kinds of graphs and charts and information about the Georgia Guidestones and the Ninth of Av, all of that on the broadcast. If you're at my website on that broadcast, you'll be able to see all of that, including all the flooding and what's taking place down there in the south along the Gulf Coast. But you can also watch this broadcast right here on this YouTube channel, all right? So 7 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. We'll be live. Pray for America. And give your life to Jesus Christ because we are running out of time. We had a great Sunday morning service. We had a man saved there. We had a great crowd, a great shouting time in the Lord. It's had a wonderful time. And tonight, others' souls are hanging in the balance. Don't be left behind. Jesus is coming soon.